top of the morning to you from the farmstead. Now my ancestry is distinctly Irish, but my taste buds are distinctly Southwestern. And in honor of St. Patrick's Day, today we're doing a bunch of green things. And we're gonna start with stuffed poblano peppers. Aren't these gorgeous? Now we're gonna stuff these with some chicken and cheese and corn. But first thing we gotta do is cook the poblanos. Got my oven preheated to 400. I'm just going to lay them out on a cookie sheet. That's that. We're going to put them in our preheated 400 degree oven. I'm going to set a timer for 15 minutes. We're going to turn them, cook them for 15 minutes more, and then we will put them in a Ziploc bag, steam them so we can peel some of the, the skin off. And then we'll stuff them but we got to get them in the oven first now while those are in the oven we're going to get started on our filling now we're going to use a combination of cream cheese which has been sitting out and has gotten soft getting soft and this is a raw monterey jack cheese that i got from azure standard and we're going to use it give it a little kick so we're going to grade this up as soon as we get it out of the pack Now, believe it or not, with all the cooking I've done, I think this is the very first cheese grater I have ever owned. And I bought it a couple months ago, and this is the first time I'm using it. Now, I've grated cheese a lot in my food processor, and that's really easy. But there are some times when this, I think, would just be more appropriate. I don't want to cut my fingers, so I'm just going to break up these other glass pieces. All right, there we go. That's probably two cups. Oh, it smells wonderful. Mm. Oh, it smells so good. All right. Now, spatula. You know what we need? This might be good. We'll see. All right. So, in the bowl, our cream cheese, which is soft. Right into the bowl we go. You know what? I do have a trash can over here. I'm not just dumping things on the floor. I'm going to shred my chicken first. Now this is canned chicken breast from the pantry. And I've drained off a little bit of the juice that was in there. We've got some of it still in there, but that'll be fine. And it's so easy when it comes out like this to shred it. Take a fork, mash it up. Shredded chicken. Just like that. All right. Now, cream cheese.
All right. I'm going to set everything up. I think we'll save this for bread. All right. So we've got one can of corn, regular whole kernel corn that I have drained, one can of green chilies that I did not drain. Trash. We're going to put in one teaspoon of garlic powder. Oh, yeah, there's a little bit left. <clears throat> one teaspoon of cumin. Heaping teaspoon, shall we say. Stir this around a little bit. Oh, smells wonderful. Now this may be more than enough for those six peppers, but if it is, we will put it in a baking dish. Put it in the freezer and warm it up for dipping the night when we're watching the movie. How's that sound? Put in our Monterey Jack. Probably should have a bigger bowl because you know I make a mess. Oh, it's going to be good. So good. Told you. Clean cabinet. Back in the bowl it goes. All right. Now. Set that to the side, wait for our peppers to get ready. So now that I have my peppers all seeded, peeled, it's time to stuff them. And I'm not going to worry about all those little seeds. It's not that many. 
and it's not going to hurt us if they get left in there. So I'm going to take a scoop and lay it right in there. And I take my pepper and kind of pull it up over there as much as it will. And as it cooks, it'll absorb the flavor of the pepper. Really be amazing. So cover them up best you can. Give me a knife. Stuff it up in there and then close it up. Maybe a little bit over a bit, but that's okay. Moving on back to 350. <clears throat> Let me get that up in there. into the top of the pepper. These are going to be so good. There we go. The rest of this, like I say, I'll put in the dish, put this in the freezer, and we'll have that as southwestern dip sometime. You could add a little bit of cheese if you wanted. These have got so much cheese in there, I don't think I'm going to. There we go. That's enough. Save us a little bit on the side. Put these in the oven, which is now ready for about 30 minutes. So here you are, St. Patrick's Day in the Southwest. We've got our green poblano peppers stuffed with cheeses and chicken and all kinds of good stuff. We have some chips with a hint of lime. We have guacamole for dessert. We have Rice Krispie treats with green sprinkles and to drink Arizona green tea. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great St. Patrick's Day and we'll see you next time.